All right, guys. I just wanted to show you how I clean my KNP engineering oil filter and what I do to uh, just make it clean all over again and uh, get it ready to be installed on the vehicle. First things first, when you pull this filter apart, as you've seen in my last video, it's completely filthy. The outside of it, uh, the, the housing here, you know, it, it's, it's filthy. It's got grease and oil and stuff down in it. And the inside's filthy, got oil in it. And your spring is dirty, got oil in it. And, and then you got this, the, the filter part right here, it's, it's filthy and everything. And so what I do first is I pull it out and I dump all my, my excess oil out of the filter and out of the housing into my oil pan. And uh, then I take a can of this uh, Walmart brake uh, parts cleaner. And uh, I just take and I start on the inside with the, the little spray nozzle here. And uh, I stick it in here. And then I go around and try to squirt and blow everything uh, that's trapped in these little pleats to the outside of them. Because, you know, all, all your particles are going to be trapped going into the particles. So you want to try to blow them out from the inside out. And then, um, you know, you just wipe it down really good. And then what I like doing is I like taking and uh, after I, I do it with the brake clean and I've got it uh, pretty, pretty clean, uh, then I go back and uh, take some purple power and I just take and squirt purple power on the inside of it, spraying from the inside out. And then I wet the outside of the pleats and then I just let it sit in the sink. And then I like taking a, like a white coffee cup and filling it up full of water and um, put it in the microwave for about two minutes. And as it just starts to boil, I take and uh, pull it out real quick and then just drop this, this element down in there. And as you can see, I did it twice and you can see a lot of the residual oil that's still trapped in that, that filter um, come out because you, you're heating it up. And so, uh, after you do it about twice, then it's, then it's super clean. I mean, uh, you're basically just helping that, uh, the cleaning power, uh, by heating that water up. And then once you heat, heat that water up and let it soak, then I, I go back to the sink over here and, uh, I just take the little, the little, uh, spray nozzle and I, I stick it on here and, and rinse out all the soap real good and make sure I get all that residue out of here and, uh, and uh, then it's ready to be reassembled. Um, now with the casing here, uh, whenever you clean it off, the first thing that you want to do is uh, pull the, the O-ring off and inspect it. And if the O-ring's in good shape, then you can reuse it. Um, but me, this time I went ahead and just put a new one on there. And what I like to do is before I put the O-ring on, I like to clean, it, clean this casing up really well and then uh, take and put some oil down in the little groove before I put the O-ring on there. And then I then I take and lube the oil ring up and then put it down in the groove. And that way uh, the oil rings all, the O-ring's all nice and, uh, and lubricated and not all dried out. And then, you know, make sure everything's dried off and uh, you know, it's all nice and clean again. And you can tell this is a, a really nice filter. Uh, it's made out of that billet aluminum. They've got their name uh, etched on the side of here. And, you know, like I said in the last video, it's got these nice uh, thick cooling fins. And then it's got a place on the bottom for the filter wrench that's supplied with the uh, with the KMP engineering uh, filter. And then so all you do now is uh, you can look and see um, that's just oil down in there where I lubricated the uh, O-ring. Then you take the spring and you just drop it in there. And then you take the, uh, the filter uh, housing and you take and you put it in there with the magnet side facing up. You see the magnet right there? You just take it in there and there's a little groove that's cut into the filter. And all you do is you just rotate it till it falls down into that groove. And then once it's in that groove, and I'm doing this one handed. <laughs> it's super hard to do while you're trying to do one handed and film. Once you put it down into that groove, you just twist it. And uh, that's hard to do with trying to film it. But... All right, guys, I had to set the phone down, but you can see 
it's got a little groove in it. You just push down and turn right, and then it fits up under that little lip right there, and then it's got a little lock on it where it can't slide back out. So, you know, if you twist it, it ain't gonna go nowhere. You have to push down onto that spring just to get it to move over. So, you know, <clears throat> it's really simple and easy, um, you know, to clean it up. And, it, you know, if it does a better, better job at filtering the oil than just a, a regular oil filter, and, uh, you know, it's less strain on the oil pump and it flows better and it's got the, the rear earth magnet on top of there that traps all the, the metal shavings, then, hey, I'm in. So there we go. And you can see right there is the old O-ring. And what you want to do is when you replace this O-ring, uh, try not to use a, a screwdriver on there because you don't want to gouge that aluminum. Just take a pick, like a dental pick or an automotive style pick and just reach in there and hook that uh, O-ring out and it pulls right out. And then, uh, like I showed you in the last video, this is that uh, dimple um, drain plug. And as you can see, it's, it's powder coated or anodized, I believe it's anodized blue. And it's got that rare earth magnet on the end of there. And you can, you can definitely tell uh, that it was filthy a while ago. You couldn't even tell that there was a shiny magnet on the end of this thing. It caught so much. But uh, guys, uh, checked it, this company out. They sell some really cool stuff. I'll put the link in the description for both of them. And uh, I guess what I'm going to do next is go ahead and fill the, the oil filter back up with oil. And screw it back on. And, and uh, go ahead and put some Schaefer's 0W20 in here. This is a, it's going on a, a 2017 GMC Sierra with a 6.2. And so, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, definitely look into K&P Engineering because if you're buying all these expensive oil filters, the K&N Engineering and the Wix, um, all these different um, filters, the AMS oils, and, and uh, you know, there's, there's all these fancy oil filters out here. But I tell you, I really like this one because you can see what's getting trapped in your oil. You can see if you've got a, a problem. And, uh, you know, you can, you know, check out all the different shavings and uh, say, hey, you know, I need to probably change my oil a little sooner. So anyways, guys, talk to you later.